welcome to the platform, a new media forum that focuses on the next generation solutions marketplace. I'm Neil Axelrad, CEO of GCS, and I'll be your host as we explore the challenges that carriers face, as well as what solutions are available to help them meet those challenges. Today, I'm with Linda McWiggin. Did I do that right, Linda? You sure did, Neil. Uh, not too bad for me. That's really She's good. She's the SVP of Sales and Marketing at Align Technologies. Thank you very much for coming to the platform. Great to have. Great to be here. Thanks for Excellent. having me. Excellent. So, so um, do me a favor and do the audience of one that we have here today. Tell us a little bit about Align Technologies, so where you guys started from, sure. and what you guys are looking to accomplish. I'd be happy to. Align Technologies is an IT infrastructure and services solutions company that was started in 1998 by a group of some very young, passionate engineers that wanted to form a company that would be nimble and agile and where they could really work through their passion and develop a, a suite of services for a select group of customers. So, so who, are those, who are those customers? Um, we're in the um, medium business size space and we also touch into the enterprise. Our sweet spot for some of our services is 250 to 2,000 employees. Okay. And the suite of services, Neil, that we uh, basically sell across is we are um, an equipment resale company with strategic partnerships mm -hmm. with Cisco, NetApp, and VMware. Right. We have professional services that we obviously offer into that space as we resell the equipment. We're an agent resale with, a, with an exclusive relationship with AT&T. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, structured, a, a layer one structured cabling business where we do some really cool um, fits for uh, new data centers with, with Fiber One build okay. outs. And we have a managed services business that we entered into approximately two years ago. So full, full suite of, of services. What is the, I guess, from an application perspective, I mean, are you more in the, I guess, in the network enablement business, or are you more in the application enablement business? Are you more on the voice side? Are you more on the data well, side? Well, from a managed services perspective, we have a, a group of 16 different services that you can select from to basically, you know, from our perspective is we want to make your data center more efficient, improve your, pro improve your processes, and drive better improvement and performance okay. for your applications. We have business continuity. We have a remote management and monitoring. We have other uh, web uh, email and archiving sec uh, managed mm -hmm. s solutions. We have security solutions. So there's uh, 16 different services that you can pick from on a menu basis. From but the but all from, a, space. from a, 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 a data center perspective. Yes, so we're not talking about. We're not talking about. So, so we, you know, we have other managed service providers in here um, who, who are more in the CPA side of that. Well, we're, we're actually um, looking at launching a, a hosted okay. UC solution okay. in that environment. So you're going to see this business, the whole managed services business evolve from services in the managed services space to, to, to software, to applications, to infrastructure as a service, to platform as a, as a service. So this business is going to evolve and quite frankly, Neil, we see that as a tremendous opportunity for Align Technologies. We have, you know, incredible talent in our engineering mm -hmm. community. And we, so, so we pride ourselves in that, in our engineering talent, in our certifications. But we also see, as the consumption model is changing, and IT organizations are also buying premise solutions, they're also consuming on a recurring basis in a managed services in the cloud. Wow. So we want to be positioned to offer hybrid solutions to customers. So our engineering talent and our certifications and our reputation with, these, with their existing customers is very important as we move into that marketplace. So, so that, that's, that's a lot of offering. That, I mean, that's a, a lot of product, a lot of services. So was that, is that to the same type of target market, or do you have multiple markets that you Well, you know, we can, once we get into a customer and if we you know, become their trusted advisor, if you'll notice in our tagline, our tagline is consult, uh, care, and connect. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we want to be the trusted advisor to our customers, and, you know, we connect them to their end users and to their solutions and to the right application. We care about their product. Uh, so, so we're there for the long term. So when we get into a customer, if we do a consulting in engagement around, uh, you know, the d data center, an upgrade yeah. and refresh of their data center, a lot of times that leads to a managed services solution. Sure. Um, as w as our relationship continues. Lots of lots of tools in the bag for the sales guys. Yes. Like that as yes. Well. Yes. So we do. so so kind of kind of to that. What's what's your um, what what's your delivery method? Your sales delivery method? Do you have strategic partnerships? Who do you align with, and how do you get the good word out there? And, and how do you structure your Well, sales? partnership and alignment is very important. We're in the, in the uh, process of launching an agent program, mm -hmm. which I think you heard about uh, sure. earlier today. And we have strategic partnerships with Cisco, NetApp, and VMware. We are a Cisco Gold partner. 
We are also a master UC partner with Cisco and hold a variety of other certifications. Our engineers hold a variety of certifications with Cisco. NetApp, we're a, a gold partner as well, and VMware, we're an enterprise partner. Um, as I mentioned before, we're an exclusive provider in the transport space with AT&T. So those are the four partners we're strategically aligned to in those areas. And in the managed services portfolio, we're aligned with a, uh, several other partners in that space. We have a 24-7 NOC in Morristown, New Jersey, that we perform the services out of. So it's really, uh, you know, something that, we, you know, the business is, is, is diverse, which is a good thing. Because mm -hmm. I mentioned before, the area, the, uh, we're, we're, on the, we're on the edge of hybrid solutions for customers today. The IT, the CIO is no longer, just needs to be the sharpest, you know, uh, right. tech. It, the, the CIO needs to also understand how to bring business applications to market for their customers, for their end users. So they need to understand how to map technology to applications, and we really see Alliant to be well positioned for that so, going so into 2011. So lots and lots and lots of, of, of moving parts. Do you see that as a differentiator, or is there something else? It's a competitive well, market I think, space. Well, I think the, the, the depthness of our portfolio, the mm -hmm. fact that we can do premise solution to managed solutions is, is a competitive differentiator. I also see, quite frankly, um, you know, our, our employees. Our talent is, sure. a, is a big differentiator, and our, and our business methodology and our strategy. Alliant was very smart to not only align with the strategic partners that we have today, but also to enter into the managed services arena two and a half years ago. So we have a leg up on that, we'd like to think of it. And, and as that managed services arena um, evolves into cloud services and you know, infrastructure services and platform services, we'll be positioned to develop our offerings strategically to the market set that we're serving market base that we're serving. So as you, as you look to the future, you kind of see an end-to-end -end service model. Yes, right? absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you're going to see the, 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 you know, because of the economic pressures today, again, the consumption models are evolving to, to more of a, you know, in the cloud procuring mm -hmm. of services. So we'll be able to, you know, put whatever the, cust whatever the customer needs for their economic model and for their applications model, we'll be able to deliver. Excellent, excellent. So, so you've sold me, but, but if, if, if I'm a professional in this space, why would I want to come to work for a while? Well, uh, that's a good question, Neil, and I'm glad that you asked me that. We are trying to, we are creating a culture of empowerment and accountability and opportunity. We, we want people that are passionate about IT, that are really proud of what they do for a living, and they want to make a difference both within the company Alliant and for the customers. So when people ask me why would they want to work for Alliant, it's, it's you know, we, we want to make a difference. We want to be, we communicate frequently with our employees so that they understand what the vision is, understand what they're a part of, understand how they can make a difference, and what the future could hold for them. Because, you know, life is too short. If you're not happy where you are, you know, you, you, need, you need to make it a place that you need to be. And, and I want people to be at Alliant that really want to make something special. Well, it sounds like a great company. How can I put in my application? <laughs> <laughs> Taking numbers now. <laughs> it sounds like you guys have done a fantastic job. We appreciate you coming to our It's a bright role. future. Well, we yeah. appreciate you having us here. You see, you've got a great, uh, a great company, too. Very Thank niche service. So appreciate good luck it. to you maybe as well. well. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll maybe come we by. Maybe we can somehow partner together. That would be fantastic. That would be Linda, great. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thank you, Neil.